Hey Twist Minions, it's Dr. Kiki and Blair and we're here with a little primer on how you can make your own powdered alcohol. That's right, I said make your own powdered alcohol. Disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer! Don't try this at home unless you're a legal drinking age. Also, remember if you're going to drink alcohol, always drink responsibly and never drink and drive. Never, ever, ever. What's happening? What's happening? You might have heard news earlier this year about a product called Palcohol, which briefly received federal approval for sale in the United States. And while some states are welcoming this powdery booze with open arms, other states like New York are busy working to ban the substance due to concerns for its abusive potential. Never mind that similar products have been sold for years and years in countries like Japan and Germany and the Netherlands. Right. Anywho, we got to thinking, how hard could it be to make our own booze powder? Ooh. Ooh. So here we are. Yeah, what do we need first? Well, we need alcohol. And why go small when you can go big? Here's the stuff made popular by college fraternities around the nation, Everclear, which is 151 proof here in California, or 75.5% percent alcohol. You can use whatever alcohol you prefer, but if you want to, to the end product to contain more alcohol per serving of powder, you're going to need higher proof booze. Perfect. Next, we need water soluble absorbent powder to trap in that alcohol. Yeah. So we purchased some Enzorbit from the Modernist Pantry. Thank you to Paul Adams over at Popular Science for the tip. Yeah. The pre-packaged alcohol comes in at 58% alcohol according to the packaging, and, uh, and one package is equal to one drink. There's one serving of alcohol in the standard drink, which according to the National Institute on Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism, is approximately 14 grams, or 0.6 ounces of pure alcohol. Everclear is, as we said, 75.5% alcohol by volume, so we need 18.5 grams for one drink. We've got a scale, so let's weigh out our alcohol for two drinks. It's 37 mm. grams. It's right in there. Right in there. Yes. Happy scale, happy science. Mm -hmm. Paula Adams recommends using 100 grams of Enzorbit for 30 grams of liquid alcohol. So we're going to use that as our starting point. I just want to point out that 100 grams of this stuff, as you can see, is quite sizable. Uh, we're seriously not going to get very much bang for our buck here. <laughs> You've got an ounce and a half here of yeah. alcohol and this giant pile of powder. <laughs> All right, now for the moment of truth. We are going to drizzle the alcohol into our ginormous pile of powder as we blend it into the Cuisinart. So here we go, scoop it in. Something is so fluffy. This week in science. This week in science. This week in science, it's the end of the world. So I'm setting up shop, got my banner unfurled. It says the scientist is in, I'm gonna sell my advice. Show them how to stop the robots with a simple device. I'll reverse global warming with a wave of my hand. And all it'll cost you is a couple of grand. Well, it's definitely, you know, a weak drink. It doesn't have any flavor of alcohol, which is good, but, you know, we went with the minimum um, alcohol serving mm -hmm. for a standard drink. Right. So, I think a lot of people, if, unless you're buying a bar, at a, buying a drink at a bar, mm -hmm. a lot of people tend to overpour and have yeah. more alcohol in their drinks. And so something that you could do is just add more alcohol to mm -hmm. your powder. But yeah. that guy, I don't know. Yeah, but then the powder would be very kind of moist and wet. I don't... Yeah. yeah. It would get so more sure goopy and less powdery. The practical application. We have these little clouds floating. It's like little tapioca drink. balls now. It's very <laughs> odd. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, I could see how, if you're thinking about weight, maybe it could be useful. Or if, you know, foodies are looking for some sort of cool new experience. It was fun today. But, seriously, this is not as impressive as I thought it would be at all. Yeah. Scientific novelty, for sure. 
But I leave it to you to think about the potential dangers of alcohol, everyone. We'd love your thoughts on this story. Mm -hmm. I'm Dr. Kiki. And I'm Blair. Thanks, everyone, for watching. This has been a Twist Short. You can find more shorts and regular length Twist episodes and subscribe to us at youtube.com slash thisweekinscience. Follow us on Twitter and Tumblr at Twist Science or just check out twist.org for more info. And remember, it's all in your head. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. Weird. Ready? Steady. I think we're doing this. Hi! We're here! Ha ha! Ha <laughs> <laughs>